Veterans Day is, of course, tomorrow. We say thank you to all the men and women who have served their country over the years. And that includes some local vets who use art to help them heal some scars of battle. Tonight, Jeff Rusak shows us how their work can also help cancer patients through their emotional journeys. Photography, it transports. In the oil fields in Kuwait, I would wake up every morning and I would, I would actually blow my nose and it would be black. It expresses. That we're showing like what was what I was going through at home or, you know, uh, the pain I felt inside with, you know, losing my friends. It unites. These uh, men fought for our the country. Radio. They met with other fight. veterans in a group called so Odyssey. Right. Veterans meet and share their photography with other veterans. Because we were able to specifically deal with each problem, problem separately, it helped us, you know, kind of cope with different things that we've been just holding inside. It was a way of us all communicating together through photography, our trials and tribulations of coming home. This Veterans Day, their work is on display at Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Institute. For these two men, they know the halls of where their work will hang all too well. Roswell took care of the imaging of making sure through the VA that the tumor wasn't growing back, and it was. Like a little bit of an escape from home at the time too. Uh, my wife, Amanda, she was dealing with uh, brain cancer. Their pictures telling their stories of their journeys home. Helped me deal with a lot of things that I was you know, going through over the past you know, 10 plus years. The Odyssey Warriors Come Home Project hopes to help even more veterans one picture at a time. Jeffrey Sachs, 7 Eyewitness News.